the Andy and Dave Daily. It's Andy O'Reilly and Dave Cackley had to make it all the way home, and mm-hmm. now he's drinking from his two liter, uh, which he keeps in the fridge there. And yep. tell everybody why you had to do news from home today, Dave. Uh, because I forgot my headset, I forgot my uh, battery charger. Oh boy! Uh, I was running late this morning, mm-hmm. so there's a bit of a delay. Mm-hmm. It's on me. Don't blame yourself. Don't worry. This is not your fault. This is all on me. Yes, it is. Don't. I don't want to hear it. It's not your fault nope. at all. Nope. And this it's, it's going to result in two demerits and mm-hmm. double secret probation. Okay. With a side order of the stink eye. That's really, really intimidating. Well, it ought you to be, no my idea. friend. You think uh-huh. long and hard about what you've done today. I will. Put my whole Rest schedule. Sure. You put my whole schedule in the mucky muck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are you enjoying there as a beverage? Uh, it's a, a a semi-flat Dr. Pepper. Oh, well, wonderful. Uh, <laughs> is it from a two-liter? Yes, it is. That was a good uh, good guess. Am I that predictable? Who the hell buys two liters? I do, because they're cheaper than buying the rate. Why would I buy a twenty ounce for a buck? 49 when I can get a two liter for the same price because you don't want flat gross two liter pop you know how it gets flat it oh. gets flat if you don't if you don't tighten it and that's the problem with society today society does not tighten things oh okay so if you tighten it it's fine in fact I got this two liter bottle of dr pepper probably three weeks ago oh. and it's barely a little flat oh my because God. I keep it tight mm. Delish. Gross. <laughs> Refreshing, <laughs> thirst quenching, good for you. <laughs> you were uh, such a cheapskate. <laughs> no, economically minded. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my God, do some news, would you? All right, let's get into it. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled against President Trump's travel ban on Monday. This ruling upholds an injunction that prevents the administration from enforcing a suspension on travel from six majority Muslim countries. According to the judges, Trump violated immigration law by discriminating against people based on their nationality and failing to show how their entry into the country would hurt Americans. Mm. So there you go. It's one of those deals where the, where the president can, can do this, it gets shot down, and he can say, hey, I tried. I tried to put a ban in place. In that way, if anything happens, like let's say uh, a, a mall blows up in Omaha, yep. I tried to get a ban in place. They wouldn't let me do it. It's one of those – it doesn't hurt him politically – even though this was an was not a constant was not a constitutional uh, order, I mean a lot of people because of the fact he used the term Muslim in the campaign. Right? Had he not done that, he could have gotten this thing through. Here's the thing, though: it, the chances are pretty good that if a mall does blow up in Omaha, uh-huh. they're already here. Okay? Yes. So uh-huh. you know, putting a travel ban in place isn't going to make a bit of difference. It's not in in. I understand, and I don't disagree with the idea that we need maybe a little bit better inspection of people coming in, and that we need to wadir the folks that are coming that want to live here. We need. What to word make did sh- you just use? Huh? Did you say wadir? Wadir. Yes, that's a. Wadir. I don't know what that word means. You don't? No, I've never heard wadir that. I think you're just making is up when words you, again. Like, say you're going to be on a jury. Okay. A lawyer will come up and wadir you with questions about what you stand for, where your positions are on things like this. You know, they'll, they'll ask you about yourself as a person. Like uh, one time I was on a jury pool, and they came up to wadir me as a juror. And uh, the case was about, um, you touch your ears a lot. Stop doing that. Well, I'm sorry. You, I was, you, I was you, Every time we get the video thing ready, you're like this. Well, my, here's the thing. This keeps wanting to fall down because my head's too small. Well, it says a lot about you. Anyway, um, the uh, they came up and they asked me a few questions about this case that I was potentially a juror for, and it revolved around a uh, an assault on a on a special needs kid uh, uh-huh. on the other side of town. Well, okay. one of the questions as they wadeered me was, um, "Do you have any affiliation with special needs kids?" And I said, "Well, yeah, I work with No right. More Sidelines quite a bit." Got me kicked off. Well, look who's hey, look behind you. What's up, dude? Hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> Max, say hi to everybody. But um, anyway, so when I said, yes, I have a, an affiliation with No More Sidelines, I got thrown off the jury pool. That's a wide ear. Yeah, that's a wide ear. Yeah. Thank you for there that. There you have it. I appreciate it's it. I, I feel hair. learned. Can you spell that for me? Because no. I might want to use it against my mom in Scrabble. <laughs> you might. You might have to look that up, though. Wad deer. Is it W eight? Okay, I'll I'll figure it out later. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Anyway. Okay. But yes, mo- asking a few more questions. I'm not against that. All right. Thank you. Well, another story I didn't actually write up, but it's something we've kind of glossed over. It's been in the news. Obviously, the Bill Cosby. Oh boy. A sexual assault trial. It's gone. The jury's deliberating. I think the Cos- Cosby's defense team literally was was on for like five minutes. Wow. There's five minutes worth of defense in this trial. So I don't know, like, I don't, I'm trying to think. You and I d- used to talk about Michael Jackson and mm-hmm. everything surrounding Michael Jackson, all his alleged uh, incidents with children. Yep. And how that's viewed, how, how assault against children is viewed, and rightly so by our society, as being about the worst thing you can do. Yep. Uh assaulting women as bill cosby is is accused of is right up there yep. it's really close yep. horrific but it's incredible to me that we know michael jackson is an alleged pedophile okay he li- he had an alarm in his house that warned him when he was alone with a child it would go off yeah yeah if you got within it was like if you got within 30 feet of the room when he was with with one of his friends uh, it would go off. Yep. So there was a lot of smoke there. He paid off. There are a lot of families that got paid off. But people don't view Michael Jackson the same way they view Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby's a pariah right now. Yeah. Regardless of what regardless of what the evidence may show it, I I believe he's guilty. And if he's guilty, he should go to prison. He will. Absolutely. Yeah. But the fact that when we talk about Michael Jackson, nobody brings that up because nobody wants to wants to believe the probable truth about Michael Jackson. Yeah, they do. He's dead. No, but it does. It, he, but when people, but people still enjoy his music. People are still. He's still the king of pop. Nobody even references that when they discuss Michael Jackson. They don't. When you hear him talk about, oh, king of pop, oh, the greatest musical talent of all time. You can't. You can't talk about Bill Cosby the same way. Like, like the Cosby Show. You can't find it anywhere on TV right now. Okay. Because of this. And it's, I mean, it's it's amazing to me the way the two are viewed by society. Like you, 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 Michael Jackson. It's almost like it didn't happen. Hmm. Amazing to me. Great tangent. Oh, thank you. You enjoyed that, really? <laughs> or are you just you, humoring me? Came from out of nowhere. Okay. I was like, Whew. wow. All right. What else is going on? No one was injured following a fire at a vacant home in Muskegon Heights on Monday morning. The blaze broke out just after 8 a.m. at the corner of Glendale and Amsterdam Avenue. The fire was reportedly contained to the attic where it is believed to have originated. Chief Christopher Dean is mystified due to the fact that the utilities were shut off and there was no evidence of any squatters at the residence. The cause is still under investigation. So you know what it probably was? Hmm. Aliens. It was just like in Mars. You know, we didn't know what happened with that giant hole on Mars. We don't know what happened with this. Whenever it's a mystery, whenever we don't know. Aliens playing with matches. Yep, aliens playing with matches. Way to go, E.T. Uh, E.T. Thanks. Uh huh. That's what happens. You leave. You leave Reese's pieces hanging. Uh, yep. Just laying around. That's what happens. I'm sorry, Max. Did you want to interject on E.T.? Did you want to say something? No. Okay. Fine. Max wanted to interrupt the show, but no, anyway. <laughs> Finally, a teenager in Ottawa County remains in critical condition after being shot in the head with a pellet gun. This is why I don't let you get use pellet guns. Anyway, the shooting the shooting occurred around 8.30 p.m. in the 7500 block of Shadblow Avenue in Jenison. The 14-year-old says he was at home when his friend shot him with the pellet gun. The pellet hit him in the head and lodged in his brain. He did undergo Oof. surgery on Monday. Suspect turned 14 yesterday. No names have been released. I'll tell you what. Here's what I want you to do. Is Max still right over there with an yeah. ear shot? Uh, yeah. You tell him old Uncle Andy has got BB guns. Slingshots, and I mean the good kind too. I got the wrist rocket. 
dude. I got fireworks. I got a pool. I got lakes. All he's got to do is come up to the cottage, and he can play with all of them. <laughs> so, so you, you're you're going to say you, you're trying to either shoot or drown my child? No, is not that at all. What? Teach him the right way to do it. Okay. Not like his, okay. you know, his dad tiptoeing through the tulips when it comes to the, just... the good stuff. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, I'm pellet just saying, gun. the boy needs to learn how to use these things. Come on up to Uncle Andy's. He'll teach you okay. how it's done. You want to go to Andy's cottage and yes. play with pellet guns? Yes. All right. Pellet guns. And you know what? If it's a good day, we'll even get out the 22. Oh, great. He can do that. That's fun. Oh. Happy fun time. Good times. All right, sports. And, we're not, Cups and you know what? Here's the other thing. We're not going to screw around with fire or with uh, bottle rocket or um, no. sparklers either. We'll get the good stuff out. Okay. <laughs> Can't wait for that. Max, Cubs watch, lose, watch Cubs. what this M80 does in the lake. This is fun. Oh, You'll like it. Easy, easy way to catch fish. That's right. <laughs> Cubs lose, Cubs lose, Cubs lose. They fall to the Mets 6-1. to one. Tigers were off. They take on the Diamondbacks. The Buck, is it Buck Tanner or Buck Farmer? Buck, Buck Farmer. Farmer. Uh, wait until you tonight. I'm sorry. I, I bucked. I, I've been, really been following the Tigers this year. No. Uh, NBA Finals. Golden State wins the NBA championship 129 to 120 over Cleveland. The pride of Saginaw and Michigan State, Draymond, the color of money green, scores 10 points, grabs 12 rebounds. They win four games to one. Kevin Durant, MVP. That's two out of the last three years. Of course, the Penguins just won back to back championships uh, in the Stanley Cup. So we got dynasties everywhere in sports now. How many, how many guys from Michigan State have been to jail? Uh,. What are you talking about? Problem? Oh, there's been a few allegations. We didn't know there. Mm. There's an ongoing investigation. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, really? What did I tell you? I told you to be quiet. Now you're interrupting. This is very unprofessional. God, man. Great parenting, Dave. Way to go. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to lay down the law. Somebody's getting a timeout. <laughs> way, way to control the household, Dave. <laughs> hey, enjoy your flight, Doctor Pepper. We'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> See ya.